Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Kyle here with Family Firearm Reviews, and today we're gonna finish up our thousand round review on our Caltech P17. Now, we have run this suppressed, we have run this you know, with all different styles of ammo, and today we are gonna run some Federal. We're gonna run this whole box, 333 rounds, which will put us just over 1,000 by about 133, right? So, once we get those through, we'll be able to give you our thoughts. We'll, tell, we'll talk about the malfunctions, we'll talk about some of the issues we had, we'll talk about the bug that's crawling on my neck, uh, all that fun stuff being out here. So, with that, there are some links down below we'd love you to go and check out. We do have a Patreon, we do have a merch shop, and we do have some Reddit links down below. Go ahead and check those out. It's a great way to communicate with us. We are Just a quick review of the features here. We do have a 22 caliber firearm that is a 6.7 inch overall length, 3.8 inch barrel with a three pound internally hammer fired trigger with a 16 round capacity half by 28 threaded barrel device that we can put on later, and it is 22 cal. So with that, we're gonna get to the important stuff, we're gonna get out to the range, and we are gonna shoot this, which is the fun stuff. So let's get out there, and let's get to shooting. So we're out here with our P17, with our 16 round mag, you only get the 17 if you put one in the chamber first. We are gonna run it here, the way it is. Uh, we did put the threaded barrel adapter on there, so you can check that out. We'll check accuracy there, and then we'll uh, check accuracy with something else. Nice little crisp trigger. So hold on one second, and we'll show you something cool. Same left corner, we'll see if this adjusts our accuracy or if this makes it better. I'm actually a little better with it. It's pretty quiet too. So, let's uh, get Lauren's take on this. So I'm gonna take my three shot accuracy test and see how I do. I can't complain about that at all. at that. Somebody hit the mag release and dropped her mag.
she got stuck in there. It's not uncommon with 22s. So now we're going to do some concealment drills. We're going to talk about kind of practicing behind cover and keeping yourself behind there. Lauren's going to yell right, left, kneeling right, kneeling left so I can practice both sides. And I don't really know what's coming, but I'm going to take one shot. She's going to tell me if I get outside of that containment. That way I can practice staying inside of it. Okay, when you're ready, Lauren. Left. Right. Kneeling right. Kneeling left. 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 Right. Right. Left. Kneeling right. gonna play this game today so it's throwing the rounds kind of to the side there not allowing the next one to feed so it's not really extracting it properly is what it's looking like that's the went pretty good With this on there, you do have to aim a little higher than you want to, but that's definitely something you can adjust to with this. You can use the regular sights, nothing new, nothing different with this style of suppressor on here. So that's pretty cool. So we got three mags here. I'm gonna run them as quick as I can, try to be very accurate. I'm gonna hit the large plate there, transition to the middle plate, over to the farther plate. See if I can hit all 16 rounds on each one of the plates. Not too bad for plate one. Not bad for plate two. Transition to plate three. Not 
<laughs> Man, now that I've gotten used to this, and this wasn't my favorite out of the box, and kind of a love-hate relationship with this thing at times, now that it's really broken in, and we're almost at that thousand round mark, I think we've got, I'd say maybe 100 more rounds today, we'll be at that thousand round review, and we can tell you reliability, how dirty it is, how it holds up. Because we do know this is mainly polymer with just this metal slide right here. And they know I'm going to get yelled at because for the one I did rack it back and for the other one I hit the slide stop. You know what I mean? And I know that's not great for these guns. But listen, it's worked for me. And honestly, I think that'll give a good tell to you guys that do it by accident. Because on my 9 mils and other guns, that's how I use it. But man, this thing is a lot of fun, both suppressed and just the regular way it is. So let's finish this up these last 100 rounds with you guys. And we'll give you our final thoughts. Nothing better than 22 and running them as quick as you can and hitting everything and hearing that little ding. Man, I love shooting steel. Now that we ran all these rounds through, we're actually about 1,133 rounds through this firearm today and they all went pretty flawlessly. I think once the break-in period hits, man, this is really a fun little pistol and I think it's a great trainer. And I mean, for I think you can get them on sale now for 219. When I got mine, I got them when they originally came out, when they were like 179. So I got super lucky. But I think they're a great little pistol. So now that we have our thousand rounds through, we're gonna hit the table, and Laura and I are gonna give you our real thoughts on how this thing held up. So here we are to do our thousand round wrap up with the Caltech P17. Today we ran 333 rounds. We ran just over a thousand rounds today. We ran an extra 133. So we really had a great time. Now I was not 100% a fan of this at the beginning. Lauren definitely was. Mm -hmm. It was a little ammo finicky at the beginning, but now I've run all the different ammos through it and it'll literally eat anything after the break in period. Yeah, absolutely no issues at all the further along we go with it the smoother that function is yeah and i mean i've used the slide stop slide release but now a lot of the time when i just run a full mag in a lot of the time it'll go by itself it's pretty broken in it's really nice it's very easy to use we did use it with our suppressor it ran well with that we didn't have any malfunctions it it really is just a great gun it's a perfect range pistol it's a good starter i mean if you're going to be out there maybe if you want something for around the house defense you live out you know, uh, in the woods, snakes, things like that. This would be a great option for you to hip carry. There's lots of holsters. They did make an optics cut one now, so you can put an optic, but I do know that there's videos out there of people that have modified this to put an optic on it. So it's pretty cool, and there's a lot of options here. And I, I really like the magazines. I think the magazines are great, especially for loading. This really slim design, keeps all of your rounds sort of straight together. Everybody knows when you're loading up a bunch of 22, it's a nightmare, it's just a nightmare for everybody. There's no way to get around it. And this really, this design alleviates that, which is a big deal. Right, and the, the mag release is kind of strange. It is right here on the bottom. So that is something to get used to. Lauren did bump it today. She's bumped it a few other times. I've bumped it till I get used to it. I hit it accidentally fairly easy, but when I'm purposefully trying to use it, it gunks me up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, there's pros and cons to this. Again, this is pretty budget-ended. I got mine when they first came out. I think we paid like 179 plus tax, transfer, all that good stuff. They're going, you can find them now for 220 is usually when they're on sale, but they're selling for like 250 I think, not on sale, something like that. But I think it's a great option, and you can remove the threaded adapter. You don't have to run it, you know, suppressed, or you could put a muzzle brake on there or something, I'm sure. But the thin slide and, you know, all the polymer is holding up very nicely. Mm -hmm. The safety is very intuitive. It, it is very easy to flick on and off when you're out there. Again, set up for the right and left-handed person. And due to the fact that you're not supposed to use your slide stop slide release to let the slide go forward, it doesn't really matter that it's not on there for the left-handed person. That's just going to give you more of an over-the-top for that style of person like that. 
you know, you're supposed to go over the top. They even say in the manual, people are correct. They've commented on other videos. Sometimes I do just out of force of habit, I hit it. But it works for me and it hasn't worn out yet in 1,133 rounds. We've had no issues. The sights are great. They're easy to pick up. Um, the fiber optic front is nice. We just have, kind of have a blacked out rear. So for a budget ended beginner pistol, I think this is great. And for a training tool, for the price, for how well it works, and to have something that you can shoot consistently, and in that 22 ammo, it's a no-brainer. It's an absolute no-brainer. I have a question, though. If anybody out there is going to get the one with the optic plate and get an optic on there, let us know how you're racking that slide. Because we were shooting with a different gun earlier with an optic, so I was pulling from the front. When I switched over to this, my muscle memory was stuck there, and I tried to do the same. Obviously, you can only do it from the back. So I w I'm really interested in seeing how, with the optic on there, how that slide works. That's right, because when I have an optic on my pistol, I swap and I start using the front of the slide, which here you can't. So. When we get the optic version or somebody out there has one, tag us in a video. We definitely want to see how that works. There is a lot of room here, but you're not going to be able to go over the top. You're going to have to probably go more just grabbing the back, right? Grabbing more like that versus, you know, the normal over the top. Because you can't really grab the front. There are no front slide serrations because that slide is just this thin piece right here. So that is a good point. That is cool. So, man, man there's a lot of good points about this gun. Uh, we had a great time shooting it for sure, and this is our first thousand round review, so look out for other ones. Let us know if you liked the thousand round review. Let us know what you think about this, how many rounds you have through all yours, any problems you've run into, things we should look out for. We definitely want to know about that because we want to get the word out to other people if there are issues or, you know, if this is just a really great firearm like we think now that it's broken in, right? Yeah. So we appreciate your time. Thanks for checking us out. Come back and see us again later. Check out some of the other videos if this is your first time to the channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Comment below. We want to hear from you. Get more content for family firearm reviews by joining our Patreon and checking out the links in the description.